Hello guys and gals, welcome to another unboxing video and today we have Super Loot and I get excited when Super Loot shows up, I really do, they, they, oh god they're consistent, they really are consistent, they, you know, don't get me wrong, there's a little bit of a wobble but they are one of the most consistent boxes I have ever had so far so there we are um i'm looking at myself i'm even sending yeah it'll do um so super loot is a subscription box and they send you stuff monthly there is no particular theme to these boxes they just send you stuff i think your first box is 20 quid and i think it's 25 pounds thereafter i think check the website so ours has come today and um and here it is and on every single box it says smashing boredom in the face and on the inside it says it's what's inside that counts. So, there we are. Um, when I do the unboxing, anything that's good that comes out of the box, I give it an up. And if it's not so good, I give it a down. And we do the pricing afterwards, uh, near the end of the video, to see if this box is worth the money that we pay. So... Let's get into it and find out. So we've done the super loot. Don't forget to subscribe. So. Oh, you're a sticky box. Get off. Oh, there we are. Right, let's flip it around. Try not to look inside. Uh, ups, downs, pricing at the end. Yeah, yeah, we've covered everything. Right, let's go. It's been a long day. So. First item out of the box. I think I know what you are. It's a pennant. It is a pennant. Uh, do you know what? I've only ever had one of these. I keep watching videos where people pull these out. And uh, I love them. I really do. We got the uh, the Amityville Jaws one the last time. And um, this one. Is this the Destiny one? Or the Elder Scrolls? I don't know. I think it's the Elder Scrolls one with the looks of it. Right, let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. It is. It's the Elder Scrolls. Ooh. Right, let's see if we can fit this in. There we go. So, it's the Elder Scrolls Pennant. Is that Els... Els... something? Els... Weir? Whatever. Uh, it's the uh, Els Weir of the, um, the Elder Scrolls. So, I don't know anything about it, but I do like the look of these pennants. These are really nice, and the quality is really good as well. Considering it's printed on, like, um, felt, the quality is really good. I mean, the Jaws one, I fell in love when I saw it. It was it was fabulous. And then now this one. I've been looking at the Fallout ones. They look really cool. So, that's an up. I'm a massive fan of Elder Scrolls. The Elder Scrolls Online was a bit pants. Um, the last best one I've ever played was probably um, Skyrim. So, there we go. Uh... All right, okay, um, right, so, yeah, uh, what Superloop does as well, not only do they include um, figures and t-shirts and stuff like that, they also send snacks, and this one is Rocky Road, it's a milk chocolate coated marshmallow with cashews. Now, I've got to be very careful about these things, because I have a horrible allergy to eggs. So, up until the point where I've actually probably studied what's in that bar, I won't be eating it. So I'm not going to eat it on camera. Um, I don't give uh, these snacks or anything any money value uh, because they're like added little extras that I absolutely love. But I don't give it up, so I don't give it down, and I don't give it any money value because, like I say, if you buy enough of those in bulk, it'll probably cost you 5p a bar. So what's the point? Let's move on. Uh, oh, you're big. Shall we get that? Yeah, let's get the big thing. Oh, is it one of those? It is! Wicked. Right, it's a it's part of the Marvel group, and uh, I've been seeing these. Usually you get, like, a magazine with them, and they sell them in HMV. Uh, but it's the Marvel figures, and this looks like Vision. Let's get them out of the box. Speaking of Vision, anybody watching WandaVision at the minute? Ooh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, my gosh. 
I don't understand why there's like 10 minutes worth of credits on the end of every one, which ultimately makes each episode about 20 minutes long, but, you know, we're enjoying it. It's nice. It's good. Uh, sorry, there's just so much little bits of sound tape. Right, let's... Ah, there he is. He's got some weight to him as well. Fair play. Um... Yeah, so that's Vision. I'll put a close up on screen for you. Um, that's Vision. I really like that. That's quite weighty as well, and the detail's not bad. Uh, the paint could be slightly better. But yeah, it's not bad. It's good. It's very uh, green and yellow, but there we are. So, that's an up. I like that. It is Vision, isn't it? I'm sure that's Vision. Yeah, it must be. Anyway, uh, that's an up. Let's move on. Oh, bubble wrap. We've got a... That's a weird feeling box. What are you? <gasps> you are a Assassin's Creed drinks canister. Whoa. 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 And straw. Ah. Uh, well, that's really cool. I'm not usually a massive fan of drinks canisters, but this looks really good. Don't know how the hell this works. Is that the straw that goes inside? I'll figure it out, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's an. Uh, I'll put a close up on screen. But that is a an. Sorry, let's get the English right. That's an assassin. Oh, it's a spare. Is that a spare? It's a spare straw. Oh, that's what that is. All right. I keep knocking this mic. Um, it's an Assassin's Creed drinks canister, and um, I quite like that. That's nice. That'd be good for the summer, and it's. Sounds metal, so that should be a hell of a lot better than the other plastic crap that we've had, like the arse end of last year. But that's an up, Assassin's Creed, love it. I'm not buying Valhalla or playing Valhalla until I have the new Xbox console, the, uh, the, the Xbox X, because I want to experience it in the best quality that I can. Same as Cyberpunk, um, Assassin's Creed, and... Ah, oh, there's another one I can't think of top of my head. But there's three games that I really want to play on the next-gen console, and I refuse to buy them for the current gen. Um, that Pringles. <gasps> Ooh. Pizza-flavoured Pringles. Now, do you know what? This is something that I can eat, because I know it hasn't got egg in it. Ooh, they don't really... Don't really smell of anything. I can smell the cardboard more than anything else. <laughs> Got to be honest with you, they are very bland. You get like a a hint at pizza topping, but it's only a hint. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I don't rate them. I'm still going to eat the whole pot, but um, yeah, first impressions are... Uh, there we are. What are you? I don't a t-shirt. Well, we know that. Ooh! Ah! Yes! Um, it's the Umbrella Academy. <gasps> oh, my God. I love Umbrella Academy. Um. Oh. Oh, that t-shirt. Oh, that is a good t-shirt. Look at that. I like that. I really do like that. That is really good. I've, uh, I won't say I've just finished, but as soon as... Um, cause I, I watched Umbrella Academy on an absolute whim when the first season was out on Netflix. Complete whim. And I thought, ah, I'll stick it on. I don't really know much about it. Oh, my God. What an amazing series that was. And then I was just hankering then for season two to come out. And season two came out, and it was, yet again, fantastic. I'm so good. Titans, they really messed up Titans. Not that it's the same thing, but I'm just saying, for as uh, TV series as go, the first season is really good. And then the second season is like, oh, this has all gone to hell in a handbasket. Umbrella Academy did not do that. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. That's all of it. So, that's not bad. That, that's pretty decent. So, I'm going to disappear off. I'm going to do some pricings, and I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Well, I got Pringles stuck in my teeth. They were, you know what? After you've had a few, I don't know if you ever have, uh, when you have Spag Bowl, 
you have the uh, the grated cheese on top of your spag bowl, the Italian cheese. It t- they taste after a while they taste more like that. Um, name's gone off the top of my head. Don't leave comments. I know what I mean. It'll probably come to me. I know what cheese I mean, but it's generally the traditional Italian cheese that you sprinkle on top of spag bowl. That's what those Pringles taste like after a while. So, so I have to go in some pricing on the Tinterweb. We've got some conclusions. Um, right, so the T-shirt, that's a tenner. I would actually pay more for that. I'd probably pay more £12, £15 pound for that. If I saw it in a shop, I generally would pay that. But T-shirts are a tenner. Um, the uh, the Elder Scrolls Duda that's coming in at around seven pound, so that's not bad. Um, the drinks container is the cheapest thing that I can find, and that's coming in at four pound. And then the the Vision figure is coming in at around twelve to fifteen pound. I did see it for for twelve pound, so I'm gonna put it down to the lowest price. So we're giving that twelve pound. So value wise. It's not bad. I mean, we paid £25. The t-shirt, okay, you're pretty much there or thereabouts. But like I say, with Super Loot, it's the consistency. You, I've never had an absolutely atrociously crap box so far, which is great. Um, and that's what it's all about, really. Do you get the value? Yes. Is it consistent? Yes. And would you buy again? Yes. So it's it's... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I like it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, leave comments uh, down below. These oh, Pringles are caught up in my teeth. It's so bad. I need a drink. So, um, like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments. We've already covered that. Um, what do you think of this box? What do you think about the value? Would you specifically um, subscribe to Superloop if you were pulling out this sort of stuff? Are you more of a Harry Potter person? If so, you're more likely to go with Geek Gear because of the wizardry stuff. Uh, the Amazing Box Company, or the Amazing Mystery Box dot com, uh, that we've recently started signing up to. They do specifically Doctor Who, they do Star Wars, they do DC. That's the one that I get, and we've only had one box so far, and it was amazing. So it's there's you know there's there's variety out there, but like I said, the whole point of these videos is value and consistency. So. And yes, you get it with Super Loot, which is great. Oh yeah, don't forget your Rocky Roads and your Pringles. I don't give these any sort of money value because that's more of a taster pot. And these Rocky Roads, like I say, if you buy enough of them, then you're pretty much 5p a bar, whatever. So uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Ta-da!